Why are all gems spell related? I guess they're not. Some are. Guess that one seems seems like it had it. Okay. We're filling up pretty bad. So let's go back. What happens if you don't let her out? I don't think you can do anything. I don't think there's any um I don't think there's any variation. The game just won't let you progress. Okay, put those over. Extra crit damage. Oh, that's a great shield. What is my block rate? I'm assuming it's pretty damn low. Block chance is super low. Greetings, my friend. How may I help? Let's see, these are about the same. Chance score. I think I like... I like this one better. This one has too much ailment related stuff. Which we don't Thank really need. Okay, what else we got? Anything cool? Knuckle bone. Extra damage. Extra toughness. That might be. You know probably don't want to sell. Uh, always the best value. I don't probably want to spend too much money because I want to save it for buying rare things. But whatever. Can't manage that right now. Uh, let's see. Is there a way to see what's on the roguelike roulette? Nope. I, uh... What? We will have to fight our way oh. through Mercy's fanatics. Be prepared for anything. So, uh... How did you end up in a cage? My sister and I used to be the most powerful shamans of the tribe, following the shadows of spirits, the heritage of our old ways. But that changed when the first emissaries arrived. Emissaries? You're talking about the cult of the sleeper, aren't you? They twisted Mercy's mind, or maybe it was already corrupted by greed and thirst for power before they arrived. It matters not. Our tribe made an unholy pact with this cult. Mercy is a gullible idiot who couldn't see that it would cost us everything to bargain with the sleeper's minions. You stood against his decision. We reacted too late. His mind was already filled with promises and lies. Trying to talk him out of it was a mistake. We should have killed him when we had the chance. But death is a trade of patience. With you, he will meet his doom, Avenger. Why did the cult of the sleeper take interest in your tribe? What do they want? Psychics. We raid towns in search for these humans, gifted with a superior mind. Ideal hosts to be possessed by otherworldly entities. We provide these innocents to the cult of the Sleeper, who use them as anchors for their evil overlords. Hmm, of course. Hosts are one of the most valuable resources for cults. What were you supposed to get in exchange? They would help us purge the Daybreaker's presence in the region, allowing us to expand our territory. I see. Well, it's a win-win for them. They want the Brotherhood dead anyway. Let's see. By the way, it was asked, uh... Oh, she got messed up there. Uh, you've only played one game from the genre, which was Torchlight 2. Is this worth picking up? Playing this game makes me want to play Torchlight 2, so yes. I would say uh, if you're still a, a newbie to the genre and you don't feel like uh, rushing up for this one, this still has a couple of hitches. I would actually recommend picking up Grim Dawn first. Uh, and maybe Victor Vran? Like, I really... La a year ago I said I'd love to do some kind of like super series where I played like every, uh, every good Diablo-like. And every time I play a Diablo, like, I'm like, holy shit, I really want to go back to that idea. 
So I might honestly do that uh, sooner than later. Yeah, this is kind of pricey. It was 30 bucks uh, last week, but it went up to 45 for the for the full release. I say that kind of eh, because they've still got more updates planned. And it's part of the reason why I'm like, yeah, it might be best to wait. Um, But, like, there's so many other equally good ARPGs. Go forth and execute mercy, Avenger. Such is your fate. No, oh, I have to talk to her. Where is she? Well, that's a that's a corpse. There we You're go. Coming. The shadows of spirits did not mention me being part of his doom. You are the Avenger, not I. They have other plans for me. What plans? If I am seen killing our own leader, I will forfeit all influential power within our tribe. If I am to expel the Sleeper's influence, I must be able to rally my people. Undoing what Mercy has caused will take time, but first he needs to die. You can't stay here then. You should do your part now. We must hurry if we're to save anyone behind that shadow wall. Very well. I will work on breaking the spell while you fight in the arena. I shall meet you at my sister's final resting place. Uh, hi? Okay, there we go. Welcome to my arena. I could kill you on the spot, but that would be no fun. Let's smack you squeal first. I'm looking for Mercy. Mercy. Mercy your leader, not Mercy Mercy. Well, then you have found him. I am Mercy, a name earned due to the last word people utter after crossing my path. You shall. Whoa, let me stop you right there. Your mercy? Look, look, I mean no disrespect and all, but you do sound like a 12-year-old. They all make puns before they plead for their life. You will be no different. Now, my people, let me offer you this fool's death as entertainment. Your first challenge, our very own toxic master, Torami. I hope you like having acid spat at your face. Oh boy, look, I already told you, you're not good at this. Send him in already. I love the writing for this section. This section is so dumb. What's up, Torme? I don't know if I'm stunning him or what exactly. Bring on Mazara! She will remind our hot headed friend of his own mortality. Man, I was one shotting my way through the previous chapter. I do kind of wish uh, he'd actually just send everybody at once after we mocked him. Like that would have been that would have been a funny little moment. It's like you're not good at this. He's like, fine, just send them all in. Butchers work for tonight's feast. Oh well, on to your next challengers, the Majoran's brothers, chemistry geniuses from the Republic gone rogue. Behold. Okay. Is that all you've got? Can you not move that fat ass off your throne and face me? You, 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 your death will be horrible! Horrible! <sighs> Awaken Augustea! She hasn't been fed in three weeks. I hope your flesh is tender. Three slaves to the one that takes that fool down! Oh, come on. Oh, you're such a bore, you can't even die properly. What do you bloody want? 
your head. I've no mercy for those who bargain with cults. Oh, so that's why you came here, to stop our expansion. Nothing will remain to rule but a graveyard once the Cult of the Sleeper finishes its work. Then I shall rule that graveyard, but you won't live to see it. It's not I will put your corpse on a pike as a reminder for those who defy me. Taste my axe! Speak for mercy! No. Die! 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 Die already! He really does sound like a 12-year-old. I mean... Kinda? Zima sends her regards. Travel oh. through my shadows. I'll put you back on your path as you have returned me to mine. <sighs> oh no, I'm not taking that portal. Scared of shadows? Don't pretend to be wary of magic. I might not know what you are, but I know one thing. You're beyond human. I'm not scared of witchcraft. Of course I'm not. Not even a month ago I would have chopped her head off. And now I'm following a witch into her dark portal. <laughs> Where to go, ex-purifier? Hey, we level stronger. More physical damage, more toughness. Hello, portal. Shadows, heed my call. Asha Morosanya. Asha Morosanya. Ana Matere Su Zatare. Thank you, Avenger. Good luck saving your tribe, Zima. Save what you can, but don't hope for much. The cult of the sleeper consumes all. Ah! Uh, Shh! Keep it down! Are you okay? Where's the Brotherhood? Oh, they're close enough. What happened? What do you think? An endless tide of death, that's what happened. The likes of which I have never seen. Any remaining forces? The last brothers I saw were barricading themselves in their vault. Those that tried to fight outside died and came back as undead. Damn. I started to appreciate those guys. I guess it doesn't matter now. Come on, brother. Let's get the hell out of here. Val, wait. We can't go the way I came. A purifier army is approaching, tracking you. Huh. Better them than death itself. Come on, we'll find a way through. Val, please. Look, you weren't there. Those Brotherhood Knights, they aren't kidding. They know their stuff, maybe even better than purifiers do. An army of them fortified within their hold and protected by the power of Dawn just got wiped clean by a single cult. I take that as a strong hint that we're definitely not going that way. Wait a minute. You know that as well as I do. There's something you're not telling me. I need to talk to these guys. If any of them are still standing, I need to know. They have the answers I need. Answers to what? To everything. Uh, they might know of the origins of my powers, of my purpose. Val, I don't have the slightest clue about who I am. Uh, this might be my only chance to finally understand. Val, what do you say? I say, sure, why not? Let's have the two of us face an army of them. The things we do for family. Val, maybe we should talk about the... Yeah! Plan. Come on, you ugly bastards! Let's dance! Ah, oh, subtle as ever. No matter the odds! Oh, you remember that? Of course. Battle of High Peak. The three of us against the world. Just as we are now. Except there's one big dummy missing. Speaking of which, any news of Edric? We'll talk about it when we get into the vault. Okay? Okay. Oh, that was quick. Some time. 
Until the next wave arrives, that is. All right. The area is clear for now. Let's talk. Talk later. Loot for... Oh, I can't go this direction. Well. Where is Edric? He... He didn't make it. What? Why? How? Last time I saw him, he still had Maelus on his side. Don't tell me the wench hurt him. No. I did. What happened? Shortly after you killed Maelus, he got promoted to Justicar in her stead. He started tracking me to bring me back for execution, claiming I was a traitor to the Republic. I tried to avoid the fight, but there was no way around it. Something got in his head somehow and turned him against us. Something? You mean Hemlock. The bastard must have manipulated Edric's loyalty to turn him against us. I don't know. He might be a harsh man, but he took risks so that I could escape alive. He gave me another chance. I know deep down he cares. Or cared about us. Why would he suddenly send Edric to take me down? <sighs> it makes no sense. We were the children of Hemlock. He wouldn't want to pit us against each other. I wouldn't be surprised if this is another wicked game of his. Testing Edric's unwavering loyalty. Let the stronger of the three survive. Discard the weak ones. Damn, Edric. Why couldn't you see through this? Val, I know this isn't easy, but we have to keep moving. I... Uh, I know. I... I'm fine. I hate to say this, but we need to split up. If only for a moment. If the both of us go in there, more undead will pour in from the outside, trapping us. I'm not about to jump into this death trap. So... I will stay here and stop their advance as much as I can. You bring any survivors back to the light. Yes? I don't like this, but you're right. Are you sure you can hold? I will hold. I'm not giving up on you. Just like you didn't give up on me. I'll see you soon. I... You know, I just... I just not. This isn't gonna go well. She gets possessed next. Next up, we have to fight Demon Sister. Then bad father. The Hello. The vault of hope. Daybreaker's holy ground. The cult of the sleeper turned this place into a graveyard. Okay, I have a desperately need to spin to win. No, that is not a hold hold to use move. You just kind of cast it sequentially. That's a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping you'd actually just be able to. Uh, you'd just be able to press My it and... Wow. Wow. That hurt. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I'm punchy enough for this. I think it has a perk for that. Yeah, I can see that, but it's... It's not, uh... It's not the just, like, sustained, uh, endless cast. There's a laser that you can get that makes it, like, uh... But there's a laser that's that's just super endless cast. I think I'm gonna stick with this, just because it's got huge AOE now. It hits everything. I mean, not everything. It could be bigger, but it's still pretty big. Oops. Who does this kill enemies in the area? All right. My endurance is waning. Guess I might as well pick up blues. Somebody is asking when when is a good time to stop picking up whites in this game, and the answer is probably almost immediately. You're definitely not going to use them in your build. Where the hell are the enemies? What? Hi? Did I miss something? Oh. We've had this happen before. Enemies can spawn outside the walls. All right. That's dumb. I'll just keep going. Let's see. 
Ooh, the environment art for this area is super nice. Super nice. I I have something of uh I have something of a soft spot for like weird dark gothic cathedrals in video games. There aren't a whole lot of them. And the ones that I've seen, they always just look super rad. Okay. Here's a Tormentor. Not for long. I can't do that. That hurt a bit. Uh, let's see. Keep going this way? Yeah, I'll just go this way. Ooh, this game is 1.0. I I feel like this is one of those where uh they absolutely were just like, eh, we're done. Uh, QA come come later, 1.0. I don't agree with the sentiment. It's one of those where, despite its issues, this game is still fairly fun. But it would have been nicer if they had actually really put the time in to make sure it was, um... It was, you know, really ready for everybody. Uh, anywhere from... I, honestly, I still kind of wish this game had, like, the offline mode. Actually was for, um... Like, you can play online in quote-unquote offline mode. The main difference is just, uh... The main main difference is just that, uh... You know, it's not considered ladder or something like that. I just wanted it, wanted the online mode to just be like, well, I mean, you can play with other people. It's not... Well, I guess what's the difference? Why not... Why have all these anti-cheat protections? Just have it be the equivalent of, like, Blizzard open lobby and, uh... Blizzard. It was open lobby and ladder back in the uh, the days of Warcraft, or not Warcraft, Diablo 2. And I always played on the uh, the non ladder because non ladder was ooh. Okay, so the one problem is the Soulsbane still does a lot more damage than these things. So here's the question. Do I want to go for this thing? Attack, speed score, crit hit damage, rend on attacks. That's okay. Life leech from attack damage, crit hit damage. Duration to stasis? Elemental damage on attacks. Life leech, attacks, crit chance score, material status weakness. Um... Yeah, I'm mostly physical damaged, though. That's actually a really good point. So having all the bonus damage on Frost isn't quite great. I like... I just love the weapon. But the other question is, would I actually want to go for a one-hander, like the skinning axe, and grab a shield? Yeah, good time to test it out. I'm definitely getting smacked around a little bit more, so yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. That's not really a good ring. Because yeah, what does this put my block chance at 20%. That's better. I guess the other thing is I do have a lot more attack speed like this for better or worse. Yeah, so I, I do less damage with this. Hopefully it'll really crank up the survivability, especially once, once I pick up a couple more associated perks because I think what I'm going to do after this is start going heavy for the um, the block build if I can get the ones that like um, make enemies take damage on blocked hits and really crank up my block chance 
Either that or I could go for pure, uh, pure raw physical damage. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's... Damn. Eat beam, dude. It's not possible. That was effective. Oh, do we get it? Yeah, we get it. Okay, so health regeneration for each point on equipped bruiser chest piece. I think I've actually got a heavy chest piece on, so resistance score equal to... So it just doubles my resistance score. What is resistance? How do I even see? Oh, I see. So it's just a universal resistance chance here. Uh, let's see. Hopefully that actually works. What is this? Why do, why do you exist? Oh, I see. That's just a loot thing. Well, do I want to go back this direction? I guess we might as well real quick. See if there's anybody here. Yeah, numbers aren't as good. Attack speed is better. Eh, it's a good trade-off. I'll take it. Uh, was that three hammers? That might have been three hammers. I gotta actually throw more hammers here. <laughs> gotta catch my breath. All right. Also, gems would would skip the, the scales. That is a good point. So we've got an offensive one and an offensive two. Could add six frost. That's okay. A little bit of extra flat damage. I think I'd still prefer, like, just your physical, but I'll grab what I can. Also admit, sword and board does make me look a lot more... Oh, what would I say? Beefy? Like, just having a shield out makes a huge difference in terms of, like, I look like a badass. Anything else around here? New. Like, I'm going to be honest, that sort of thing actually matters quite a lot to me when I play these games. It's like, do I look really cool? Yes. Cool. I I think I started playing World of Warcraft specifically back in the... Um, well, I, I started playing WoW back in the Burning Crusade era, which I still think is probably one of the best eras for WoW. And obviously, like... Uh, maybe that's part of the reason why I'm super, like, anti-grind, is I've just played a lot of WoW. Um. But, uh. This up. Oh, nope, never mind. I guess they're all dead. Ha! Ah. I guess that would do it. Yeah, Sword and Board is classic melee combat. Yeah. I'm, I've always been a little preferential to, uh, great swords. Uh, if only because that was, like, I think a great axe was actually the first major weapon I ever used in Dungeons and Dragons, and so I've always been... I've always had a soft spot for great axes. For reasons. Uh, let's see. Anything else I should probably look at? Ooh. Yeah, that's better. As a massive stat bonus. Uh, let's see. Anything else? That's the old one. Still seems like Bruiser you might be the better head. direction for oh, me to go, I but it's hard to say. Okay. I need that. A fine item. Thank you very much. Man, I really wish this guy wouldn't sell whites. Like, what's even the point of selling these? God damn it. I didn't even mean to click on that. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Hide gauntlets. Yeah, all this stuff is big. Sell that. I'll be here Drop when you these off. Me, I should probably use the entropy orbs, but eh, later. 
Yeah, I think the first character I really remember playing in Dungeons and Dragons was a. Uh, I think it was a dwarven fighter, and he had an axe, a great axe, th plus three throwing and returning. That's all I remember. But we were playing with the rules a lot, the so I'd like. In the sanctum. This gate has not been breached yet. Daybreakers, is anybody alive? Come inside, quick! More will come. I pat out the shop and make it look less empty. It's most of the loot in Neo. I just, I can't. Oh. Wait, what? It like lit up for a second, and then it was gone. Damn it. My endurance is weak. Got the same bug as you. So, did the door light up for a bit and then... How'd you fix it if you got this bug? Voice acting is super solid. Yeah, it is. It's... The voice acting and storytelling in this game is actually one of my favorites. Favorite parts of the game. Okay, gotta restart the game. Uh, let's just try going out to the main menu. Let's see if that fixes it first. Hopefully I don't have to quit the whole game, because that takes even longer. But maybe I should have done that anyway. Uh, I'm all out of Thin Mints. I should eat more. I should have actual food. Let's see, does the game crash on closing for you too? Nope. I haven't had any had I haven't had any issues with that specifically. Okay, let's see if it dumps us here. So how much do we have left? Still a bit... It's fairly linear. Ah, uh, Sanctum of Hope. There's a crash file in you quit every time. Weird. I haven't run into that yet, which I'm kind of thankful for. Oh, where'd I get this from? Eh. Okay, there we go. I was worried. That is a sweet-looking door. Who is he? What does he want? Friend or foe! Let him through and close the damn gate! You heard the man. Don't worry. I'm here to help. This whole place looks awesome. Okay, talk to Hudebe. Oh, dude, can I hang out your pond? Oh, you got messed up. We have met before. You're the one from the Shadow Wall, aren't you? Yes, it's been breached. I've come to get you guys out of here. Valeria is up there stopping new undead from flooding the vault. This is our chance to get everyone out. Let's go. Are you listening? You're an Ascended, aren't you? I'm the guy that wants you people to get moving. Wait, but what's an Ascended? The Ascended are exceptional people whose fate is intertwined with all others like them. Tapping into their experience, just as they tap into yours. It takes practice, but should you be looking for it, you could feel the bond with other Ascended if you meet them. You would feel our bond. You're saying that what happens to me happens to you? Yes. I'm sure your head is full of questions. I shall tell you what I know once the situation is secure. If Valeria is up there on her own, we cannot linger down here. We must take the chance she's offering us. Fine. What's the plan then? We will open the Dawn Gate and carve our way back to the sunlight. Tell my men when you are ready. You're wounded. You think you can manage? Focus on your part, and I will focus on mine. Hello, yes, put me in front. You can just follow. The old man wants to storm our way out. It's now or never. It won't be easy. Even though you cleared your way down here, more of them will come from the other wings. They will enter a frenzy when they feel that they can access the inner sanctum. Open the dawn gate! One with the light! One with the light! Do not falter! The searing song is with us! They're sending our own brothers against us! They are mere shells! Push them back!
The one unfortunate part about going for the one-handed weapon is I don't get uh I don't get as much rage from my mouse too. It's a bit unfortunate, but whatever. We made it. We survived the onslaught. Easy now. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Round two. There you go. Reform the line. Get ready. Hold the line. Damn. We can't hold them all. We have to close the gate. Dawn does not hide from darkness. This is our only chance to get out. There is no going back now. Bloody zealot. Your men will die for nothing. And they will do so defending what is right. As long as one of us remains, hope is with us. You will see us through. There's too many. My abilities have limits. We shall see about that. You will take what's left of my powers. Reveal your true potential ascended. Fight like you have never fought before. Use for the momentum. I can't do that right now. <laughs> can't do that right now. Hold the line! Hold! Man, they died in a hurry. Uh, anyway, use the, uh... Boom. I don't even know what half of my abilities do. But I got super beams. Not right now. Not right now. We... We can't make it. Stand tall, brother. The darkest nights make our light shine the brightest. Oh, we are coming. Stand ready. Can't be done. Okay. More hammer? Nope, not enough rage. I like my hammers. Just maintaining enough rage to actually use them is rough. Use your aspect of the apocalypse to prevail. I'm assuming it means just keep keep doing whatever. All four are weaker than your normal form. I maybe who's over She's here? Us. Ah, and Athea's heard our plea. Ascend it, embrace her lights, seize the opportunity at her altars. One last stand with the searing song at our side. One with the light. Not a breach. God damn it. Okay, stay away from that. This is messy. I know I could go into uh, berserk mode here. It's not possible. But some amount of honor says no. I don't need crazy god powers to succeed here. I just need gusto and oomph. That's all the dude needs to win. Sort of? Ow. 
Ow. Well, there goes some potions. And that guy's just been there having a bad day this entire time since I we got here. Power. Ah, here we They're go. Sending all they have. They want to darken her light. Okay, fine. That really does not do that much damage. Okay, never mind. I guess that did do a bunch of damage to him. Certainly doesn't feel like it, though. Victory. On to the next one. They are chonky dudes. I wonder if I picked the uh the wrong specs specifically for um or I guess the wrong aspect for my spec. Oh, I guess bright on us. Rally by the dawn gate. We are moving out in full force. Let me get those blebbins. You Blue. did well. One last push, and we'll be out of this graveyard. I don't know if our, my spec matters, but my my aspect might be ailment based. Made it. You took your sweet time. Apologies, Princess. I had a few setbacks of my own. Shut up. Gather around the pyre. Her light shines through it. So you wonder what's your code thing to support a creator on Epic? Should just be Wanderbot. 90% certain it's Wanderbot. Thank you, by the way. Still alive? Somewhat. You did well, sister. I know. Get yourself patched up and rest. I'll get us out of this. Easier said than done. Your friend is not going anywhere in her state, and neither are we. I can manage. Spare me. Your pride will only lead you to an early grave. We will get you back on your feet, but right now, you need to rest. So what's next? You bring the fight to them. You make them pay for the death of my brethren. At first, the waters of the Galatha River dried up all of a sudden. It used to flow gently from the nearby town of Helmshire down to our walls and past us toward the Galatha Falls. But before we could investigate, we got reports of a wildling army marching our way. While you were fighting them, the Cult of the Sleeper used the riverbed to funnel an undead army toward the weakest point of our walls. That's how the bastards broke in. Go upriver, reach Helmshire, and find the origin of this undead tide. Stop whatever is causing this. You and I have much to talk about once this task is done. Find Helmshire. Stop the necromancers. Got it. Brother, come back in one piece. Understood? Don't worry. I'm coming back either way. Victorious or zombified. But I'm coming back. Clever boy. Okay. So, Great Shield. Uh, this one's better. I wonder if there's much of a difference. The answer is... No, not really, actually. I guess lose out on some material damage. What else do we have? I don't think I'm going to be able to find a better one-handed weapon. Alright, shield it is. Bango. Should really start putting some gems in some of these things. <laughs> 